in the sports world, Martina, as you know, only the biggest stars get their own logos, right? <laughs> Roger Federer has the Shut RF logo. The you know, Rafa has the Bull logo. Kobe, God rest his soul, had the Mamba logo. Prakash, when did you get the worldwide logo and how do we get the swag? Hey, listen, listen, listen. This is our beautiful TC design team that has crafted this bad boy. He just broke a blood vessel for how hard he just <laughs> flexed. Get him, just get him some water. Boys and girls, season three, episode one, Miami Open for Kosh Worldwide. Taking a look at all the behind the scenes of all the beautiful warriors on the men and women's tours and doing what we do. Enjoying all the food, the lifestyle, all the glitz of the tennis tour. Magnificent party over here. And you know what? The show is all about feeling good, living your best life, bringing out all that happiness and beauty that the world has to offer. All right, so it's a big step up this season. Look who we got on Prakash Worldwide. Monica, you do realize you're like one of my heroes, right? They're just like Versa. I'm gonna work out with them. So you guys are in here first. We're gonna do work out together. Now stay tuned for that. All right, let's do this. Before the sun come up, let's go. Be a beautiful day. All right, so y'all know TC keeps me fresh to death with all these colors that I love. But uh, 2022 season three, Prakash Worldwide. Are we? Are we stepping it up a notch, man? So this is one of the players' restaurants over here, a magnificent little downstairs area, not too far from where we are, right by Center Court. But at this joint, we got a restaurant downstairs and. A restaurant upstairs. All right, so came out of the player's restaurant right there. Picked up a little caffeine because, you know, the Macy boys with the, the huckabucka. And uh, right there. Oh, he's got you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Robin, tell the people what uh, what shade we got going on over here. How about butter caramel? Whoa. <laughs> You know, I mean, I've used some descriptive words in my life before, but she goes with butter. Can I take you everywhere with me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll put okay. you in my little pocket. Okay. Let's take you with me. I mean, I think that like since everybody's been playing since they're five or six, yeah. I'm just starting when I'm like 31. Mm -hmm. I got a long way to catch up, but that's the competitive spirit in me. I can't say that anybody can beat me at anything. So I think I'm the best tennis player. If you could pick one memory where, I mean, you really got someone. I mean, you clowned them so good. You were like, you know what? I got him. I got him good. I did. Any, anyone that come to mind? Uh, Zverev, actually. <laughs> Ooh, perfect. Yeah. Oh, please tell us about this. So <laughs> we had a bet. We still do have a bet going of would he have a better chance of scoring on me one-on-one -on -one <laughs> or me returning his serve? Wow. That's so what, what, what do you think? Who you think wins? Do you think I can return one of his serves, or do you think he has a better chance of scoring on me one on one? Oh, you know yeah, what? it might be harder for you to return the serve. I'm sorry, I, I'm, I'm backing up on that one. Okay, I actually gotta gotta go the difference. I, I think you'd have a good shot at returning a serve because, because that's what I'm saying. You got a wingspan, so if he's a... trying to ace you out wide, you can get a racket on the ball. That's just you know, and you, athlete. It translates. Just my thought. All right, so one of the great things about Miami is you run into all kinds of legends, and man. This cat was one of my favorites to get on the basketball court. Uh, let me ask you something, Stevie. You, you still jump about 50 floors in the air? Well, I know last time I was trying to play tennis, I tried to jump over the net. So I got to work <laughs> on staying down while I'm practicing. So, you know, it's all good. Good. You get out there, though? You play a bunch? Sometimes. So, you know, living in Houston, that's what tennis is at. Everybody loves playing. 100. Franchise. All right. So I spotted a leg moving up and down, stretching that I recognize. <laughs> Now it's an arm. Let's see if we can't get a closer look here. Okay. Oh man, she is focused. She is meditating. She is focused. Oh, just... Sissy in law doing what she does best. Squats. Yeah, I mean, 
Yeah, this is the, you're, you're, you're known for your squats and your uh, brutal. The world doesn't need to see it actually. It's behind the scenes. All right. Locked and loaded. Migration set. A couple minutes to spare. We are in between interviews, keep those games coming. You know we gotta keep the tight on the road, routine, structure, discipline. This will be about. here and because we don't get to put him on the hot seat enough why don't you tell us something we need to know that could embarrass him a there's little bit there's nothing that is not out there already about prakash <laughs> everything that's possibly embarrassing the whole entire world already knows you know what if you embrace it they can't embarrass you with it that's the key what does naomi enjoy the most about miami me? Um, honestly, I don't really do that much while I'm here. Uh, I've just been playing on the PlayStation, so... Any game in particular? Uh, of course, Fortnite. There you um, go. Gaming. Now, do I have this right that you made the EA FIFA Team of the Year? Uh, yes. Uh, this is insane. Right. Tell, tell us a little bit about your relationship with gaming. Yeah, it was, uh, it was fun uh, that uh, we managed to work with eSports together just for the small video where yeah. I could uh, do my team. Of course, when, uh, when people like me do this team, uh, we're a little bit biased, so uh, I definitely <laughs> put Kimmich in there, like by some Bayern players, but I love gaming. Uh, I mean, it's uh, what sometimes uh, helps me to, let's say, uh, relax and uh, get in another dimension. Start of another day, just just a whole lot of gratitude, you know? That's what we're taking in every single day. Let's go. Like a pretty nice day today, not too bad. And you yeah. tell me, I wish it was hotter. Yes. So, <laughs> tell us a little bit, obviously very comfortable with that. Yeah, I like training in the heat. Um, I think one of my strengths is my fitness, so I feel like my endurance can go a long time in the heat. So obviously for me, the hotter the better, and especially if you're playing someone not used to the heat, um, it kind of helps. For tennis channel this, it's Nick Kyrgios. Yes, Nick joining us after that unbelievably remarkable win here. It's funny, man, watching you play that, especially with those winners flying from every aspect of the court. The defense was great. You were serving off the chain today. Reminded me a little bit of, you know. Myself. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish, thought that was going I, I, I wish. It reminded me of, where, you know, Jordan draining those threes, and then all of a sudden at the end, he gave it to Jordan Shrug. Wow. Is that what it sort of felt like <laughs> in the zone? Yeah, I mean, look, I didn't think I played unbelievable i just played the right way you know against on like against rublev you know that he wants to try and dictate have a lot of rhythm and i didn't give him that today you know i was trying to slap as many winners as i could serve well try and get up the court on my return but you know it worked you know there's gonna be a probably time where he's gonna beat me as well pretty easily so I'm, i'll be prepared it reminds me a bit of myself but behind me you can't see it everybody's wearing slippers oh my god did you just put me on blast in front of everyone right now he certainly did he does have slippers on yo almost halfway done how are you feeling you holding up um i am Holding up, yes. I'm hungry, ready for dinner. Let me tell you something. I don't know what on God's green earth is going on in this city. So we in here, we getting it, leg day. You know, before we head over to the courts for filming. Got a couple new homies that we met, got in some legs today. Hazy, tell them what it is. Do regular stuff. Get regular results. Hey! Located okay, right now is you're like immersed completely in, uh, in the ground where everything's going on. Oh. Right here, Stefano Stitzpas warming up for his match right there, right around us. So you kind of get a really good feel for exactly how they're feeling, what they're doing right before they step on the court. Walking through the hallways, you never know who you'll find. <laughs> Currently with the mayor of <laughs> Miami. The, the mayor deals with all the problems? Is that, the, is that how it goes? How, how <laughs> are the responsibilities feeling on the most important uh, man's shoulders right now? Uh, it's been fun. I love, uh, I love helping the sport. I love doing what I can. But um, it's, uh, it's always a little hectic. But for a good reason, we try to put on a great show. 
This pretty mother, you know. See, I thought I was the pretty one outside. Then they go and get my brother to come and do the opening for Miami Open. Goddamn Boris. Indian Wells champ in the building. Big T. I, I'm not coming here expecting to win the tournament, you know. Uh, it, it's kind of a joke. I wrote on the camera after the match. Uh, I don't know if if, if we people saw it. Get we, it. So we loved it. We it loved was, it. It was more of a, it was more of a joke. Like, oh, it's still alive. Like, yeah, yeah. but uh, yeah, no, I, I'm not coming here expecting to to win the tournament or anything. I'm going into it with the same mentality uh, as Indian Wells. Kind of just try to have a good tournament, take it one match at a time, see what happens, and yeah. That's all. Well, listen, one match at a time, that's yeah. what the greats do, and that's how you do get that sunshine double that you wrote. That was beautiful. <laughs> we're getting near the second week being done over here in Miami, so the hours are changing a little bit. It's getting in a little bit late, so I actually got to sleep in a little bit, which is great. Today is not a lifting day, it's just a fast cardio day. But you know what? I decided, let me get in here and have a little classic Cuban coffee. You know, one of the one of the specialties that you find over here in Miami. So I got my Cuban coffee over here. I got my gratitude journal over here. And a beautiful way to start the day. Man, that's good. Uh, I tell you what, I absolutely love this city, man. Water over here, absolutely magnificent. Taking in nature, kind of grounding myself within myself, just centering myself, you know, and that's the best way to make all decisions which give you peace of mind. And for me, that's when I'm at my happiest. So Wishing all y'all the ability to do the I same. I caught you this morning with your morning coffee and you seem to be in good spirits. <laughs> yeah, I was in the Players Cafe getting my oat latte and I yeah, turned the TV on, tennis channel and the protein peaks. <laughs> and you took Curios over Fognini, I'm not going to lie, it gave me a bit of confidence. Trying to find the remote to turn it up in the cafe. <laughs> Loved it. Loved it. I was uh, kidding. But listen, on a serious note, I do want to ask you, you've talked a lot recently about how you've been able to find real happiness right now mm. and how that's translating into all parts of your life. There are so many people out there that genuinely do struggle with this issue. I know we all go through our battles, so as someone who a lot of people do look up to, is there is there something you can share that can that can help a lot of people out there? Oh, well, I just started with the basics, honestly. You know, just the people around me, I, I, I kind of pushed them away, and those are the people that I needed the most. My family, I fell out with my family for a while. I've got a really good, tight-knit group of people around me, and I'm not afraid to open up anymore. You know, I think that's the biggest thing. I think uh, males around my age really struggle with coming out, you know, to sign a weakness or something if you are struggling mentally. I don't think that's the case at all. I think it's actually a sign of strength in a way to be vulnerable and actually just tackle your problems head on. It's all good to be, you know, feeling like you're not enough or anything like that. And I feel like that's the best thing that I did was just just admit that I was struggling. And now, you know, I'm playing some great tennis, happy, and, and that's it. I'm up here with the man himself. <laughs> okay, so I'm in the tunnel right now at Hard Rock Stadium. Everything is connected through here and you can come out at different ends of the place. Now, they have really made everything unreal for all the players over here. So check it out, I just walked into an area right off that grass lawn, which I've showed you guys over here. And they got a full entire beautiful gym set up right here. Everything the players need for warm up, cool down, get their training in. Got some dumbbells. You know, it's a little too light for you, boy. I can't mess around in here. Give y'all the inside good, good stuff. All right, boys and girls, this is where it goes down. You guys see all the beautiful execution on the court cannot happen unless it gets done with beautiful execution over here. Victoria, Zach, and Dimitri. Now, I'm assuming you guys are like the crux of this stringing army over here, yes? <laughs> We're part of it, but yeah, there's certainly a, a lot more going on, especially with the full team going. Okay, Victoria, I'm gonna put you on the spot. Who is the biggest pain in the ass on the tour? I mean, who's giving you 10 rackets a day and saying they need it exactly perfect every day? That's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Hubie. What do I gotta do to uh, get a ride in that McLaren, bro? That that thing is insane, man. Oh my God, that's what. That's a fair trade. That's a fair trade, bro. <laughs> hey. 
Casper Ruud. Very comfortable straight sets win, getting through the semifinals here and into his first Masters 1000 final on a hard court. Very impressive. I'm going to call you Mr. Hard Court from now on, okay. even though you've had some pretty impressive results on clay. Okay. <laughs> uh, let, let, let's talk about how well you've been playing on the hard courts, especially that win over Zverev, backing it up here. For you, what has improved so much on this surface? I think uh, just this week I've been returning quite well, which obviously helps. Um, making a lot of returns back and staying a little bit more aggressive than what I've been used to. I know, pal. This is easily the best part of my entire tunnel. All right, I'm giving you guys a good look at the tunnel that the players walk through. Grass back over there, all lit up over here. Unreal vibes right now for this night, man. Carlos Alcaraz, man. I mean, what are you gonna say? Look, they come out right here, right on the court. Stadium electric, all going down. Courtside right there. I don't know, man. Something about this kid, Alcaraz, Carlitos Way, as I like to call him. And she's the first in Serena. Here at the Miami Open presented by Itahu, Iga Fiontes. He masters the field in Miami. Carlos Alcaraz shines brightest in the Sunshine State. As champion of the Miami Open. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you your point. Rafiti live, one into the flight, late, 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 that's how we do. Boys and girls, season three, episode one for Cosh Worldwide. That's a wrap. It's been a beautiful two weeks, to say the least. Closing out with a packed, beautiful Sunday. Iga Sviantek bringing glory back to Poland. Hubie Herkaj backing up that singles title with the doubles title. Marvelous women's doubles final. And of course, Carlitos Ray. Carlos Alcaraz announcing to everyone, it is a new day. Finished up a strong day in Miami. Got on the latest flight possible at the last minute. Managed to squeeze that trip back to LA. Sleep in my own bed. Cause look, we only got four days before we're heading over to Monte Carlo. So Monday morning, we back at it. I'm gonna get this work, make sure I'm prepped. Good to go for all the adventures in Monte Carlo. I know you guys are gonna join me over there. Europe's gonna be wild this year nice and open appreciate you guys joining me on the journey as always and uh let's never forget live laugh love inspire and always always get better every single day that's what it is what's your code